Yes! All right, the shiny charm is paying off right now. Shiny Voltorb on screen. I was playing in handheld mode, getting a combo because I want to try out like Electrode or something. Oh, it's so beautiful. Just had to save for that extra half second right there. Actually, wait a second. It, it's not over. This guy could run away. Let's use the Nana Berry to slow it down, you know. I, th I think it's easier to line up the shot. Oh, God. I just realized we're having problems now because I have to catch a Voltorb. Not in handheld mode. It's a lot easier to track this thing. Not the Joy-Con. Please, don't make my life difficult. Okay. I was so f worried. So this is actually on a catch combo of like 30-something. I'm putting together I'm putting together my, my competitive team. And I was hoping all night. Because I've been doing this. Let's see. Catch combo. I've been at it for about an hour on this Voltorb. Because a lot of them run away. Or not run away, but you know, I'm too scared for a lot of these. But I mean, if, if you get the shiny Voltorb, that's like one of the prized shinies in this game. And I'm going to be using Electrode. So that's be, that'd be pretty dope. And it was funny too, because I just got the Voltorb I was going to use. Let me show you guys. So this one's on my team. I should also set my marking. Because I got one that's like acceptable. I've, I've already done so much to get my competitive team. Uh, check summary. Uh, yeah, ooh, we're, we're waiting until we show it. But yeah, this guy, I'll take that. I'll take a best on everything and a very good on the defense on something like Electrode because an earthquake is going to kill me anyways. But what is the blue boy? He's close. He has, he has the things that matter. I might have to run that instead. If I start dying too much, oh well. But I mean, I've got the shiny Voltorb and I, I can use it. I think we gotta use it, guys, because at least we got the RNG. Now, true, can gets low 100, and that's only a silver bottle cap. That's, that's kind of true of everything. Uh, is the correct nature. Got Timid set up earlier on. So, yeah, it just kind of happened. And the funny thing was, I was about to leave. I, I just got so lucky because I'm waiting for this Voltorb to evolve. So, yeah, I was, like, waiting to just kind of, like, get him level 44, evolve the Electrode, call it good, and then just start playing competitive or something. And as I was leaving the door, I saw something blue. I was like, wait a second. Blue doesn't exist naturally in this area. And we got it. Now it's like, now it's like I want to keep on going. I mean, what else, what else are we going to get out of this? I don't even know. Um, all right. That's, that's also good. Yeah, so to a degree, what I've also learned from, like, the handheld versus motion controls, some Pokemon are easier, some Pokemon are harder. Like, if you're trying to, like, track it with the handheld, that's good, but with the motion controls, I can just do that quick flip. I can predict the hop, and then everything else with, like, the lag input of the Joy-Con, and brain lag, and muscles, and all that, um, doesn't need to really learn anything. That's my Snorlax that's already done. Voltorb. Oh, no, Voltorb isn't ready to level up. Then what is that bottom bar that looks like experience? I mean, yeah, then we can check. I, I think that's it. We can come back anytime as long as I don't break the combo. Let's check this last guy, see if he's got anything fancy. And other than that, I think we're all set up. So there we go. I got a pretty competitive Pokemon. Hmm. Much like my other shiny hunting video, I really like comparing the Let's Go Shinies to other generation games because, for starters, I'm not a big shiny hunter, I've never really been one, and the thing about Let's Go is you don't even have to be a shiny hunter to get Pokemon. That was just me going for the first 5 IV I could get and then just calling it a day and having a competitive team, but the RNG is pretty sick and shinies, the odds are so crazy and th there's so many Pokemon spawning and so many of them just pop up, so I actually get to like feel Something's cool, something cool is going on when it comes to shinies, but the, uh, the colors. Once again, I feel like the colors are different. You know, the Dragonite feels better. The Electrode is something else, because that is a softer, lighter blue. I've always been a fan, you know. If I was to get one competitive shiny while hunting for something, it, with the current idea of my team, I really wanted it to be a shiny Electrode. So that, that's awesome that ended up working out like that. Also, I like the, the run animation. We can kind of cheese it for a bit and get them perpetually going in place, but I think that's a really nice blue color, and it felt like it's just, you know, softer blue than this, and that's, for Pokemon Sun and Moon, I like the idea that you just flip from red to blue, or just like for Electrode Shiny in general, that it flips from red to blue, but at the same time, I feel like that's, that's a little too dull of a blue, like there's nothing impactful about it, it's just a little different color. I think the blue's just quite a bit better when it comes to Let's Go, and I, it looks like the best one was definitely Ruby Sapphire, that teal color, hmm, it's pretty good. Some pretty good stuff. So yeah, I think that's that's a fun new thing. It's like comparing the shinies. Uh, this, that's just that's just a successful, happy shiny Pokemon, and I'm proud to have that boy next to me. Uh, so yeah, I was talking about competitive. This is going to be my first competitive team. 
I didn't put a lot of like time and thought into it. I just went for the ones I've been like considering. Mega Kangaskhan, that's a big one for me. I was like, all right. People were saying that Mega Kangaskhan is bad for some reason because it doesn't have parental bond, but it's still just raw stats, good bulk, and has fake out and stab and some craziness behind it. So I'm going to feel like Kangaskhan's a pretty good Pokemon. Doug Trio. Actually, okay, there's two Pokemon I want to get shiny. Doug Trio or the, the Electrode. I think it's about the same for me. The blue nose. It's not, it's not even that I think like blue is like an incredible color or anything. Just Doug Trio and Electro. Those are some great meme shinies. So we got our Doug Trio. Gengar. I want to have like one fast Pokemon. And Gengar isn't even that fast. I just want a sweeper that can do something. Uh, to save time, I will be using my starter on my first team because everyone's starter Pokemon comes with six IVs. I'm not proud of this one because I was too like caught up with the game to soft reset. So we have this, Quiet. Hmm. It's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do, like, I wish it was, like, a defensive nature, but fortunately, since EVs aren't a thing for competitive, I'm not really losing out too much. Quiet makes me slower, which might work out in some situations, but probably doesn't really do anything for me. And then plus special attack, so slightly more damage on some of my some of my moves. I will be just kind of going for, like, some things. And, like, the thing is, Sappy Seed, that's physical move, so the rest is going to be special. So maybe getting a little more, bit more damage out of this. That's alright, so I want to either set up screens, paralyze the opponent so then I outspeed them, go into the leech seed, and then just like, be tanky and get healing behind it. So just kind of like, maybe Eevee's going to be really successful as like this heavy support Pokemon. Like, you know, I, I get double screens up, or the opponent's paralyzed with seeds, and I bring in Kangaskhan. That's a free kill right there. And then Kangaskhan doesn't even lose too much health, because it's healing some back. Uh, it's fake out into outspeeding, into shenanigans like that. So I think some good can come from this, so maybe... Might just actually be a staple of my team. The rest were pretty easy. Like Diglett, not hard to get. Um, whoop. Let's get out of moves and let's go into this. So yeah, I actually got the 5 IV, which is really nice. And I want to make a really meme one. Because like, okay, don't have to worry about the move set. Don't have to worry about strategy too much if I just go for the Fissure. So this just pretty much could be like outspeed, try to Fissure dunk everything. Maybe I don't get one shot. And then I have like follow-up damage if I want it. Uh, Kangaskhan. No return. Makes things awkward. So Dizzy Punch, why not get that chance to get confused on top of Fake Out? So like good stat, like Fake Out, Dizzy Punch, Sucker Punch, that should KO things, and I'm only taking one hit. Earthquake for that follow-up damage, and if they get confused, cool, things just work out better. If I'm outspeeding them, they get confused, that's really nice. I already talked about the Snorlax um, when I did my video, like just catching the Snorlax. So, like Defense Curl Amnesia, so getting massively tanky and then hiding behind Seismic Toss. And this is going to be the Electrode. I just want to do some weirdness, guys. Like, this is going to be, like, the first team kind of scouted out. Because I think the thing that people are feeling with Pokemon Let's Go, it's all going to be the same movesets. All going to be the standard stuff. I love looking at this Electrode. Like, the, the gloss going on right there. It, it, it's it's larger than when it's just following you. That looks, that looks like such a nice Pokemon. So, the idea is Thunder Wave. I have two Pokemon on my team that are setting up Thunder Wave. So, if I can paralyze a lot of the opponent's team and remove threats that way, I think it's going to stick. And I think it's going to be a great way of playing the game. Taunt. So depending on how Aerodactyl is, a lot of people are like worried about the Aerodactyl. I'm just gonna outspeed Taunt Aerodactyl, no Stealth Rocks on this, uh, Thunderbolt, and then the Cheesy Mirror Coat. So I was looking at some other damage options. I think this is just gonna be the best. Like against a special attacker, I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage, but there's not a lot enough damage in the format to one shot. So Mirror Coating, one shotting tons of Pokemon. And you know you're in trouble, you know? If you're going up against Electrode and it moves second, your game is over. Like, that's a special attack and then you're dunked. So, you know, Electrode's looking to kind of set up a lot of different things right here. And depending on how my health is standing, then Mirror Coat's going to be pretty good. And that's like, alright, Mirror Coat, one for one, Thunder Wave, or Taunt. And then just kind of shut down the opponent. If they only have, like, certain options, Thunderbolt. Do a third of their health. Do like a quarter, or yeah. Do like a third, 40% of their health off that Thunderbolt with the Mirror Coat behind it. Good one for one Pokemon that also provides utility when I need it in the clutch. Uh, that brings us to Gengar. Again, like, pseudo-support, rock, and damage. I might not need the Thunderbolt. I, was, I just kind of, like, had this as an early rough draft. Like, if, okay, if I see a Water-type, Flying-type Pokemon, Gengar with Thunderbolt, pretty pretty nasty to deal with. Uh, Confuse Ray, Will-O-Wisp. So even just adding more hate, you know, if there's Paralysis, Dizzy Punch, con Confuse Ray, I know uh, I can't do Will-O-Wisp on Paralyzed Pokemon. So, you know, things that I, like... Things I can't paralyze or Pokemon that I want to be like physically shut down. Like if you're going against physical attacker, Gengar is getting that outspeed into a Will-O-Wisp. That's going to be better than just trying to hit them because it's going to take two, three hit KOs anyways, depending on the neutral. So Will-O-Wisp not taking damage, 
uh, Shadow Ball, maybe Confuse Ray. Just kind of play around with the opponent right there. And that's going to be my team. So I'm happy that the way that things have turned out right now, I got my first draft team up. I'm going to play around with these offsets and then maybe like if they're not working out, get a bit more standard and try to close in on what's going to work. Um, my, I'm probably just going to tra change this to Sludge Bomb immediately because like now I'm thinking about it. I have the Electrode if I need that Thunderbolt coverage in. Good amounts of cleanup, decent amount of sweet, sleep, or sweep. I think my team has a good amount of balance. It has like staying power, has damage, and it's going to work out when it needs to. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.